Well, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at Google Docs and see exactly how you can go ahead and use this particular website. Now, Google Docs comes in both an application form and a website form. You can access it by going to docs.google.com. Now, Google Docs has a lot of cool stuff to kind of see within it. If we start off, if we make a blank you know, file, this is essentially what every blank file is going to look like. In the top left, you're essentially going to have these particular tabs at the top. So this portion right here allows you to change your particular name of your file. So you can change this to whatever you deem appropriate. In this case, we'll just keep it. This icon brings you back to your docs home and you can store this particular doc if you want to go ahead and basically save it for a later date. These tabs right here are going to be ways that you can kind of format your particular doc and export your doc and a lot of other save options too. So under file, you have the option of creating a new doc if you want to, open up an existing document, make a copy, share, download a particular file, make these files offline, and language and change the language and all and print it out. You have to remember this is a cloud document option first. So that is another really, really cool thing. Under edit, you have a couple of options here too. You can undo and redo options, paste and paste without formatting, and you can do a find and replace. View allows you to just view out your particular page. So you have that type of capability here too. Insert, you can go through and insert an image if you want to. You can insert a table. You can insert smart chips and all these other things too. So I'd recommend just kind of going through here and just kind of going through each tab because there is kind of a lot of stuff here that you can go and kind of check out for the most part. Extensions are just like little plugins and extensions you can kind of add in. So that right there is kind of a nice thing that you can do. And if you ever need help, you can always just jump right into the help tab and basically, you know, go through the help tab there. The top right is just your standard type of information, your account, Google Gemini, if you have access to it, and then Google Meets and comments if you want to leave some comments there. The top right, you can switch from being in editing mode to viewing mode. So you can see that type of capability there too, which is really cool. Now you also have these types of tabs in the center. So you have the option of going through your menus and you can search your menus. You have an undo and redo button here. You can change your zoom capability. You can go ahead and change your styles from being this type of style to like a title if you want it bigger, heading, all those other ones. You can also change your, the way your font looks. So right here you have all the different fonts that you can kind of choose from. You can increase and decrease your font size. You can add like a bold and underline type of text here and you have the capability of indenting and centering out all of your text right there. Now in the center, you're pretty much always going to go through and basically have your title and your text that you can basically change. So in this case, you can go and start writing out, you know, this is my title, this is my text, this is what I wanna say. So you can go ahead and, you know, what I want to say, you can go ahead and kind of change this out to whichever way you want to. Now, there's a lot of ways you can go and customize it. From here on out, it's just a Google Doc. So you can go ahead and, you know, the sky's the limit here. So if you want to, you can highlight text, you can bold it out, you can increase the size by using this increase size button here. You can go ahead and basically center it out this way. So you have an endless amount of possibilities to kind of customize this. So I'd recommend just going through, having some fun with it, and at the end of it, you'll basically be able to know how to use Google Docs. So that's essentially how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.